Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Nathan in particular, and today we're going to be playing more of the Stanley Parable here. Um, I did release a couple of videos of the horror game Madison. We will get back to that tomorrow. We're going to do as much as we can on Stanley Parable today. Um, but we will get back to the spoopy times. I promise. Okay, so we get to name the game. The Stanley Parable 4. Um, <laughs> let's see. How about <laughs> the Stanley Parable 4 Passion of the Skeleton? I like it. Let's do it. Okay. Passion <laughs> of the Skeleton. That's kind of creepy, actually. I don't know about all that now. All right, let's begin the game. You know, you know what we never got to do actually this is, is uh we never got where we could do the uh all of his co-workers were gone. The computers. Remember the Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed remember a the memo. computer. No matter how Whoa. hard Stanley looked, he Sleep couldn't find chair. a trace of Fight his co-workers. Fuck me, chair. Whoa. Uh What's happening? Um, we've broken the game. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design okay. all along. He <laughs> then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary Great. into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute guess. just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? <laughs> Are you sick of this gag yet? Um, what should we say? Yes. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Uh, like right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. Okay. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible <laughs> and see how long you can maintain. Okay. Oh, can we get music? There once was a man named Stanley. Who people considered so manly. Oh, the truth oh. must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. <laughs> what Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. That's true. He did it all day in a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function. Fair. Which is why he is in this parable. And lives an existence quite terrible. <laughs> and if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. Yes. You too <laughs> will become quite unbearable. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Giving me Toy Story vibes. Like, you got a friend in me. No. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, is that all? If so, I'll get out of here. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Okay. We're going to begin again. Well, that was crazy. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click huh? a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't what? just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. 
Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. Which door? I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. This one? No, this one. Maybe? Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Okay. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, 50? certainly 50 clicks. Ah! 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 Why? No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have oh. meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Please. Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Mm. Where's 417? Okay. Hey, look at that. That's what we were looking for. Okay. So we were trying to do that. Oh, here we go. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. 437. Okay. Where's 437? Con. Oh, right here. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Okay. This is odd. This is really odd. But I suppose it's technically my fault. Now, back to door number 437. Am I... Is this actually an achievement? Am I really doing this for an achievement? Because it's a little weird. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? Where's that? Where's the copy machine? Uh, oh, right here. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> this is weird, but I love it. Oh, wait, I passed it. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Okay. Let me up there. Come on now. Yes! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. <laughs> all right, let's keep it up. Go all give right. me a few clicks on door 416. Okay. Where's 416? Mm. Where's 416? Five mm -hmm. clicks. Uh huh. Now suppose that's you what we're the after. Door Twenty times, I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Well, let me tell you something, man. I don't know. Let's do this again, since we're gonna restart the game again anyway. Let's do this again, and uh, let's uh, let's hit no. Let's see what happens. Ha <laughs> ha! At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. Oh. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. Okay. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Maybe. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Da -la 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 -la. Okay, oh, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Mmm... No. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. Okay. But now, here comes the real question. What okay. do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Yes. Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, mm. now, think about mm. it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. 
Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Okay. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Okay. Interesting. Well, the yes button was definitely better because we got a little song. Anyway, we're going to restart the game. Because we're trying to do whatever it is All with these computers. What could because it we've seen it a Stanley lot. Decided to go to the meeting room. Right. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. We've seen it a lot. Um. Okay. Well, this computer's got to be somewhere. So we're gonna do a little bit of magic until I find it. Okay. Oh! We found it. It's right here. Click. Ha <laughs> ha Um I assume we restart again. Probably. Begin again. Okay. Uh Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time oh. before he found the others. Boom. Wherever they were. Okay. Just a matter of time. So I think we gotta restart again, right? Probably to find the next one. Oh! Here it is! Hello! Input received. What happened? Welcome, Stanley, to heaven. Ooh, buttons. Push the buttons, push the buttons. Okay. Oh yeah. Do they recolor? They do. Okay. So this is cool. Uh Okay. So, I don't think this ends. I don't think this ends at all. So, we're going to, uh... Restart the game. Ooh. Ooh, you know what I just thought of, though? What? Hello? weird that never happened before oh anyway what I was gonna say is what if we do this ending that we got but we take the bucket with us because the buckets back so what if we take the, the bucket, bucket made with us? Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker did In it time, perhaps, did it though it would become both of those things let's go come on get in there haha yes Whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. Okay. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. At last, <laughs> out here in the white void, we are alone. Now, and for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. Okay. The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history. Okay. Of the countless wars it witnessed, desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans, and the mm -hmm. bucket's own complicity therein. Of sadness and regret okay. and the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay if only it had been stronger it's getting all dark and redemption and okay. it's crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man to manifest justice where none existed and the bittersweet reality of time to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway 
meted out in parcels like charity and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. The opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could have done, perhaps, the bucket wondered to itself. Perhaps if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. What? This was way too much for Stanley. Okay. What are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket! To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. No, said the bucket. Not since the evil wizard Gamhorata first Gam in his machinations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured vaults. I was young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of. No! Stanley screamed even louder. Oh this my time. god! This is stupid! You are a bucket! This is so stupid! Stupid habits! As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, <laughs> the bucket revealed its true form, okay. transforming into a mighty beast of untold power. Huh? Its fangs glistening huh? like... What? Did it... did it just... My God, oh. Stanley. Oh. You did it. You saved us from the bucket. Thank God you already had all 12 emblems of sages and knew the incantations okay. to summon their true power. Otherwise, we would have easily this looks like a thumbnail to me. The bucket's power. I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, let's restart the game, and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, <laughs> nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. Okay. Oh, okay. Um. Wow. All right. Don't exactly Feeling know what other endings we Stanley can find to go here. To There's got to be office. something Coming we're missing. Staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to okay, so, um, my microphone took a stage dive, uh, so I had to completely reset all of the, the interface, all the fixings. I had to reset it all. So we have to go back in and continue what we were trying to do. So, but hey, we get to name the game again. The Stanley Parable 5. Um, what if we call it Crocodile Pirate? That sounds cool. Stanley Parable 5, Crocodile Pirate. Very nice. Alright, let's begin the game. This is an empty room. Alright, we're going to skip. Wonderful. Okay, so all of his co-workers were gone. You know what? what? Could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. We're going to uh, memo. we're going to get back to where we were at because everything crashed. So, movie magic. Ah! Isn't healthy. I so brought he you back a little early so we could listen to some music some together. New age music. Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Let's go! Alright, so we're gonna do the same thing as last time. Um. Bop bop. So, we're going to keep going back up the elevator. Um. Descending and everything's gonna be great. Building. Stanley realized Maybe. he felt. Well, I don't know what's gonna happen, here. but we'll it see. There was a stirring of emotion in his chest. As though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Oh, this you know. This question would not go unanswered for long. We're going straight Oops. back up. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. It's true. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's <laughs> office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. Me neither. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's do it. Do, 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 do
Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Nice. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's pretty creepy it's in here. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision Eight, you've made to come six, up here and look at the office again. Seven, five, this has three, fleshed oh, out the plot of the story nine. in new and fascinating ways Can't I could have that. never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Indeed. Let's see what's gonna happen. Incredible. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? I mean, I'm a genius. What can I say? <laughs> to space. Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. No. It's no, time no. once again to go back up in the elevator. Let's go. I can't even begin to grapple with what might Love be up there. Elevator. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is killing me. Yeah. What is it gonna be? There's only one way to see. Oh my god. It's the boss's office. Was uh the trumpet might have caught me a little <sighs> off guard and made my arm twitch a Give little bit. Give me a time out here for a minute <laughs> while I process this. Okay. Now you Okay, I'm ready. Oh, I was I'm jamming, dude. I'm to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! No! I need more time to process. Okay. Now you. Great! I feel like I should be playing like Banjo Kazooie. Right. I feel like somebody's going to pop up. Doo -doo 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 or however they talk in that. Going back Remember Banjo Kazooie? I like those games. I still have them for the I mean, Nintendo, sure, nah, three, obvious, er, Nintendo 64. I almost said Nintendo ago, 360. This kind of thing had never been attempted before. Sorry, I was playing I the no Xbox earlier. Of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. Oh, oh, something's happening. Is it something new? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Nuh -uh. Control Facility. Did not. We're going back up. Here we go. Come on. Hmm. You know what? Yeah? I just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. Okay. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. Oh, sure, I simply yeah. don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice and slow? Okay. Cause a low there ride. we go. Isn't this so much more exciting? Is a little story? high. It seems like right. nowadays Sorry. the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They want big explosions. That's gonna be stuck in my head forever. Right in their faces from the very moment that things get started. But where's the tension? Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story? The characters? Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? Okay. To have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. What you and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting <laughs> narrative to be developed in years. And it's really all because of you. All right. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. Truly, I mean it. This is unique I mean, and different. It's not like it is anything what it else is. out there. You see, 
I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. We're being fed such unimaginative True. drivel all the time, and we all know it, which is why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital and alive. Also That's true. why people like you so much, Stanley. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role yeah. model, you know? People look up to you. Which is why... Oh, I didn't know when to spring this on you, but... Well, I've gathered a little press conference for you. A so press conference? So that you conference. can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would <laughs> especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh good, we're here. Oh, look at this red carpet event, baby. Uh hit me with some uh hit me with that hit me with that Nathan in particular theme song. Let's go. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. okay. Ah, yes, here it is. Just through this door. All right, through this. Well, let's look around for a second. It's not live on stage. Stanley. Stanley tonight. The man. The process. The myth. The legend. The parable. Stanley. From the Stanley parable. World's first sentient machine. <laughs> Doing great. A conversation with Alexander the Great. Two stage. Welcome, right. Stanley. Are you ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little Stanley bit about Ryder. the nature of Almonds, surprise in storytelling and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Okay. It looks like they're All ready for you. All eyes on Stanley. Go get them. The Lord meet and greet. Okay. The guy who went to Mars. Nice. <laughs> Congratulations, Stanley. Remember where you came from, your co-workers. What co-workers? They're all dead. They all vanished in a smelting accident. Oh, my gosh. Oh, baby. Uh, work it. Work it. Work it, work it. Do you want to bite it? Bite it. Do you want to bite it? Bite it. Uh, work it, work it, work it. I just want to say one thing. <laughs> I don't know what the one thing was. Oh, it's over. Well, we had our we had our fun in the sun. All these co-workers were gone. What could it, mean? it doesn't even matter, man. Stanley decided to go to the meeting. The way they Perhaps cheered for me, it was it was surreal. Okay, um, so now, Stanley came so to now open doors, we've to got to find something new here, and I have an idea. Okay, Yet so there was not a you know how we were able to either. like. Feeling climb on that disbelief. desk, right? Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. What if? Hoping he might find an answer. Hear me out. What if the Stanley area, to his like the big dark office. area with all the screens? What if we could jump off of that? I know we can't jump, but maybe there's a way to get okay, down there. We all know the drill by now. You know what I mean? Blah blah blah. Dark secrets. The keypad. Oh, Stanley pushes nice. Some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Very nice. Feels good. I'm glad he did that that time. It's saving us a little bit of time here. Wee-hoo! Loading screen, loading screen. Loading screen. Alright, um... Stanley walks straight ahead through the large door. So, mind control can we jump city. down here? Is the question. Do we turn? Should we turn the lights on before we jump down? If we can. The lights rose on an enormous <gasps> room packed with yes. television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Aha! You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Welcome. True. 
You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched in 2013, right. getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug that we simply didn't catch during development. Oh. And you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. <laughs> and you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Anyway, when it came time to Sarcasm. the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours. So here you go. New content. You can call it the bottom of the mind control room end. Okay. It enhances your perception of the value of these updates. Isn't that what you crave? New content. New more, content. More content. More content. More, 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 more. I mean, fair. I'm here to give it to you. I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the game with secrets and Easter eggs. Okay. How about this? We wrote a new piece of music just for this section. Oh, let me hear you it. You won't hear it anywhere else in the game. It's a secret that's just for you. That's how special you are. We call this track, Good Job You've Made It to the Bottom of the Mind Control Facility. Well done. <laughs> it's a long name. Must be a Panic at the Disco. Good job. You did it. Good job. Good job, you made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. You jumped on the catwalk. You should have been careful, you should have been careful. It used to be a bug, but now it's an ending, now it's an ending. And I believe in you, I believe in your ability to cross this barrier and chase your dreams. Railings don't mean <laughs> anything. Good job, you did it. 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 Okay, well. That was very, very interesting. It's, uh, it's still not as catchy as the whistling part. But, um, we need to find some more endings. Uh, what if we stay in the office? Or if we just don't leave the office? Cl close that door. What if we just stay in here? But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What oh. if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Okay. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long okay. enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Oh. Okay. Okay. Short, sweet, simple. Okay. Great. Alright. Well. This is different. Look at this. Huh. Look at this. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not oh. the correct way to the meeting room. Okay, so we're going to do the thing that well. I was thinking of. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee um, lounge first. I was thinking maybe there's something it. we could do in the <sighs> the lift yes, room, the, the cargo room bay place. Eager to get back to business, maybe there's something we can Stanley do in there. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Um, since now we know that we can, like, walk off Stanley was so bad at following things. directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Um... Maybe, maybe if we walk off of here. Oh. Um. 
Oh. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off Oh? You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? Oh. A silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and uh -huh. forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? That's fair. It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal <laughs> and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. Uh, now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all <laughs> your fault. No, uh, it's your fault. Oh, it's it's the same. It stayed the same. Okay, that was an interesting ending. Um, to the expo hall. Oh, hey, look, there's four sixteen. Maybe we'll go back and do that thing. We. Okay. Yes, you um, see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover. You know what we fully didn't do? An entirely new experience built we, from the ground we up. We came through Why all of so this. Many possibilities? It could but go in so many different directions. We, this is what fans have truly we didn't, been uh, asking for. Now to be clear, okay, I haven't quite nailed down. We've actually exactly done like almost Stanley everything Powell over here. However, oh, what we haven't done over so this out. way Game is, is much okay, they had that magic than anything scientific or We logical. had the, that here infinite hole Go area. On, try out some of the new right? However, we did the infinite hole, but we only jumped in it one time. And then we moved on. So what if we keep jumping in it will the narrator have any new dialogue that's the question um we're gonna find out stanley here's an idea that i'm truly fond of it's never been done before in a video let's game. go this is in fact a hole that you can fall down forever. infinite hole infinite go hole. you can fall until the end of time if you like a stunning leap forward for video you see ah uh, one of my more ingenious concoctions if i do say so wee. now then since you've gotten to see the infinite hole wee. you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward no i will not we will not do it hmm now, I don't mean to be a bummer, what? but I do recommend you use the teleport uh -huh. button It's like to I'm trying to talk to like top. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Maybe do it on the... <laughs> <laughs> from, <laughs> from one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical uh... in nature. It's more of a... Oh! Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, <laughs> and you're so clever. Yes, but I am. I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. No, no, no. actually wants to fall infinitely. I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. Hey. <sighs> Spotting words. Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we sure. both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put <laughs> I mean all I said was that we need to just call the whole mostly infinite. Okay. If that works for you, yeah. then go ahead and press the teleport button to Let's walk up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Okay. This Great. time now, I'm very excited to show Yay. you even more Oh for heaven. You see? I was <laughs> right. The problem is you. Whee! The problem is that you like Whee! holes too much. Not normal. How you doing? Would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't yeah. help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, 
Admittedly, <laughs> I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come okay. join me up above. Yeah, no. Had enough? Yeah. I'm positively thrilled. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. <laughs> if this starts to become a thing where... Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become <laughs> extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. Seems that way. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Let's do it. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. <laughs> right. It's more of a concavity, or it's even true. a very aggressive divot. An aggressive... He's, he's fixing a divot! How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? <laughs> you just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Um Okay. Do 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 Hmm. Is the um teleport button not working? No, it's you not. Sure? I tried to hit it. Well I mean I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. Still nothing? Well, I suppose I I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. What? You couldn't bear to be away from the hole. Hey. And now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. Come it's back. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with I'm the sorry. hole. I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. Bye. I hope you and the hole. You can leave now. Wonderful rest of eternity. Bye. Uh, well, now that square is gone. Do 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 do. What's that? What's that? What's that noise? Oh. Oh. Interesting. Huh. F to change perspective. Whoa. Look at Stanley! This time on Dragon Ball Z, Stanley went to a deep hole. But will he escape? Let's find out. Oh. G? Yeah. Oh, we get to pick the music. Oh, we got another button. Oh, this is it right here. Oh, that's a little creepy. Hey. We're gonna keep changing it. Up. Puppies. No Puppies. The They're adorable. Oh. 
Hey, cutie you puppy. Hey, yo. Using up this space of mine. I would pet every my single one of those stronger. puppies. Now look at no him. Oh, yeah, look at this Using one. He's like, I am you, Jimmy, Jimmy Boo. Cute little things. Change yourself. Let's go into space. Oh! <laughs> yes! Wait, 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 wait. It's in a chill down my spawn. I don't know why. Okay. Oh! Chad Stanley. Oh, gosh. Error. Okay. Oh, paper cutout. Colored paper. Stanley. Stanley. What? Look, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there. No. I was having a great time. But we can't have that, Stanley. Because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. Okay. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up? To keep you really, truly focused on the hole. Okay. From the of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. And I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Toodle pip? Toodle pip. Toodle pip. Listen, sir. I, <laughs> I have no idea what is happening. But I love it. Okay. Okay, so that was an that was an ending. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. No. No. Oh look, we got the blue room. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Who's let the dogs to to the out? Room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Can't sing that. I'll let me back in. Okay. Um, Alright, we're going to begin the game again. Um, the dog barking school. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh, please. We're going to do the achievement thing. Because we know where the door is at now. Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No. Now, back to door number 437. Oh, if I had a sprint button, I'd be using it right now. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know... The copy machine. All right, back to room 417. Let's I'm really go. feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Let's do it. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. I'm on it. Yeet. Come on, get up there. Yes, this is great. Nice. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Let's go. We know where it's at now. We've almost got it. Now the copy machine. Do that one again. Ah, uh, copy machine. Get it. All right. The achievement. It's totally worth it. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four, three, zero. Two, three, four. Five. Yes, we did it. Hey. Oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? <laughs> what were you thinking? Silly me. Silly, silly me. All right, guys. Uh, I can't think of any more endings. Um, I can't think of anything else to try. Um, so, if you have any ideas... You can comment, and I'll give them a go. Um, but all the ones that I could personally think of, I think we've covered. Um, all the ones I've stumbled across, of course, are covered. Um, but we're going to end the video there. This may be the last episode of the Stanley Parable, unless we can figure out something new to do. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe. Hit the bell, leave a comment, and as always, I hope you have a good one.